Hi, I'm Joni Petrie. Welcome to our Get Astrologic Now YouTube channel. I'm here to talk about Jupiter as it transits into the sidereal sign of Cancer. This is going to be a really exciting event because Jupiter is exalted in the sign of Cancer, meaning it becomes more powerful. So all the qualities that Jupiter are all about are going to become much more pronounced in all of our lives and of course through our horoscopes. So I would really love to talk about how it's going to affect each and every sign of the zodiac. So that means how it's going to affect you personally. But let me talk about what Jupiter's about first. Jupiter is the sign that deals with expansion, growth, prosperity, wealth, all the good things of life. And most of all, it's going to bring opportunities into your life depending on where it is for you. So this expansion, growth, and opportunities, it's going to bring back a sense of hope and happiness that I think has been lacking in many of our lives in the recent past. So this is going to be a, a just a, a sense of joy and happiness that I think Jupiter will bring to this world. It's been something that I think is going to bring back hope. So also the sign of Cancer is the sign that deals with family and well-being and in the sense of nurturing and healing uh, family matters. And that's going to be more prominent and going to be the trends of the world globally for the next year. And so with all of that said, let's talk about how Jupiter is going to affect each and every one of you, depending on your ascendant sign, starting with the sign of Aries. This means that Jupiter is going to be in your fourth house. Fourth house deals with family. It deals with our connection and how we feel secure and nurtured and loved. This will mean that you will feel a sense of protection and love if you have a Aries as your ascendant. And it, it means that you're going to have family gatherings and people come for reunions. And if there's been any problems or issues concerning uh, family members, there will be a healing this year they will come together. There will be a sense of happiness. If you're looking to move, if you're looking for a new house, Jupiter always brings expansion. So it can mean that you're going to move into a bigger house or maybe have more space uh, on the outside, more land, more space, spaciousness. And it, it could also mean that you could re renovate your house. It, one way or another, your house becomes bigger and you feel more comfortable and more secure there. If you have Taurus as your ascendant, it's time to go back to school. You're going to be getting a new education or you're going to feel like you're taking up new learning because this is things that you need to progress and improve your life. If you have brothers or sisters, you're going to find a, a new connection with them. There's a healing of the relationship. You'll be spending more time with them. It's going to feel happier and freer. You'll be traveling and possibly even traveling with uh, one of your brothers or sisters. So there's more travel. There's more learning, education. You may even find it's interesting to take up a new language. So everything to do with your communication skills will expand. If you have Gemini as your ascendant, this is the year of money for you. The long awaited money that I think has probably been withheld for quite some time. This is a time of expansion and wealth in the area of finances. So also I want you to realize that your voice is important. So what you have to say will be heard. And this may be a time that you may become more involved with teaching or speaking but you have something very important to say and you need to get out. It's time to speak your mind and speak your truth. If you have cancer as your ascendant, this is an awakening. This is a year where you will find yourself. You will reinvent yourself. You're going to feel more powerful. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel like this is a new beginning and that your life is just starting. It's going to feel like the past years have been a fog and you've been asleep and all of a sudden you become awakened. This is a year of new beginnings, new starts, 
and you're going to feel empowered because of it. If you have Leo as your ascendant, it's time to end old projects. It's time, it, for a long time, you've been finishing up and wondering when things are going to come to an end. This is the time that there, you're going to bring old projects, such as maybe you've been wondering when it's time to retire. This is the year that retirement becomes a possibility. And you will begin new projects after this. It's also a time you, when you're going to be more psychic, more aware. You're going to sleep great. Why? Because you know that you brought things to a conclusion that you've been worried about. So it's endings of your worries. It, it will bring new spiritual awakenings and you will feel more connected to to life and who you are. This will be also a time when you feel like you're, you're telepathically connected to other people. You just know things that you never knew before. You may find that it's a year that you're going to travel far and wide to foreign lands and countries as well. So if you have Virgo as your ascendant, this is going to be a time when old friends from your past will sort of reemerge, and it will be a fun time to reconnect with people uh, from your past. But new friends are going to come that are going to empower you. They will be very affluent friends, people that have powerful positions that are able to help you and help you in the area where you will find more gains in life, more money, more opportunities. Money will come in large sums to you this year. If you have Libra as your ascendant, you're going to find that there's going to be new career opportunities, new openings. You will get the job of your dreams. You just have to, you just have to go for it and apply. Um, you will be recognized. You will have a new beginning with your work. Um, and you will find that you may become the boss. You may get get the position that you've been wanting and looking for. If you have Scorpio as your ascendant, this is a time of a spiritual awakening. This is a time when you may find that there's new studies and new areas that you want to explore to make your life better. You will travel to far, far away places and it's also the year that you're going to find that, that your father will help you. You will be more connected to your father. Um, whether he's alive or not. There will be more of a connection, more of a remembrance too. Um, you may find that you may feel the need to get higher education, a PhD or a doctorate uh, or master's, things of that nature. Higher education becomes prominent and, and you'll find that there is a need to travel. If Sagittarius is your ascendant, your partner will be doing excellent, making more money and sharing the wealth. Also, if you're looking to find an investor in your projects, this is the year to do it because investment and investors will, will give you what you need and you will be very, very successful. Uh, money matters become important and you're able to regroup and get things together concerning your financial situations. If Capricorn's your ascendant, this is the year of commitment. This means that your relationships will come together. You're going to probably get married this year. Um, existing relationships become more committed, become real, and marriage plans and vows are in the making. Also, you may find if you're looking for a business partner, this is the year that it's going to work. You're going to find that special business partner that brings it all together and fills in the gaps that you're looking for. If Aquarius is your ascendant, this is the year that you're going to get healthy. You're going to make it a point to look into diet, to look into what's necessary in your daily activities, health, exercise, um, habits will all change. This is your opportunity to get healthy and to find the people that you need to really help you out in the workplace because this is a great year for finding employees or to just find co-workers that really, really assist and help you get the job done. And you may find it's a year of getting new pets. This is a year that maybe you might find that special pet. So if Pisces is your ascendant, you may find that you may have a new family member coming, a new birth, a new baby. 
And also, if, if it's not about your own baby, you may find that you're more connected to other, other people's children, or maybe just getting a sense and a realization about youthfulness and, and getting connected to what's new and what's the new trends going on. And it's also a great year for you to get involved in investments and investing yourself because this is a year that you could, you could make a lot of money. You are wildly, wildly cre creative this year. And it's a great time to get into new projects where you use your creativity. Okay, I've covered all 12 signs. I hope this gives you some insight as to what to expect for this coming year in terms of your expansion and your growth with Jupiter going into Cancer. If you want more information concerning readings that I that maybe you would like a reading by me, you can go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org, O-R-G, or you can find more information at getastrologicnow.com. Thank you.